What is up? It's your boy Spenny. So we're looking at this uh, tape deck I got back. It's pretty cool. I mean, it has a. I was really excited when I saw it. it has playback speed option and a and a pitch fixer. Fortunately, the gear on the winding pin was broken. I tried to fix it with some elastics, uh, which kind of worked. Um, So yeah, I mean, I don't know if I had anything on that loop tape, but uh, point is, it's it's not working very well. I've I've cracked in there before. I'm gonna try changing it into a guitar amp. So because because the cassette mechanism is pretty pretty broken beyond repair, uh, at least with. Oh yeah, also the recording function is broken. It's a, it's a whole lot less than ideal, you know. It's no if I really want to do tape loops, I'd have to I'd have to buy a Tascam four track recorder thing. So my first thought with like doing something with this because I've been pretty unhappy was to see if I could just grab like the pitch mechanism in here and make a pedal out of it. Then someone tipped me off to uh, the idea that it's really easy to it's really easy to turn an old radio or cassette, turn an old cassette deck like this into a shitty portable guitar amp. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. It does mean the destruction of the tape mechanism, but I think that'll be worth it because I'm going to get a fun little uh, guitar amp at the other side. So uh, yeah, let's let's uh, see how I do. I wanted to just take a minute and try and show how this thing is actually broken. But yeah, so this this would be winding the cassette, but uh, the gear part is actually missing some teeth, so it'll only spin to the point where uh, it's missing teeth, and then it'll stop winding, and then the pinch roller will start eating up the tape. Also, I have a suspicion that the right head is erasing my tapes as it plays through, so despite being pretty wowed with uh, with the functions this thing had on the outset, it was actually pretty busted. Um, so I'm not really making it any worse today. Uh, hopefully I'm making something, making lemonade out of these lemons. So the process for doing this is actually super duper simple. You're basically uh, removing the tape player head and instead wiring the hot end of the jack to the hot end of the tape reading head. Um, the guide I was using shows the example with a standard tape recorder, which would have a stereo head, but I was even fortunate enough to, because mine is a voice recorder, it only has a mono head, making this extremely easy to wire up. I have hooked up the jack, and so I'm gonna do my uh, sort of test run before I uh, close everything back up. I'm gonna need to clean that bit up there. Okay, volume on the guitars all the way up. Let's. So that's working and nasty already. some cool like gain and fuzz. And 
uh, so I switched over to VSC, which also gives me the pitch, which I turn it. because that's how tape players work. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Not bad. Not bad. Very easy, actually. Super, super duper easy. Okay, uh, just one more little uh, test with this. I haven't tried this out yet. I'm not expecting much, to be honest. But let's... just about to uh, call this a day uh, and this this wire came loose so I'm gonna fix that up real quick and uh, yeah I don't even know why I'm recording this I have two good demos <laughs> now I just need to fix it for my own interest <laughs> all right yep I uh, got it back together uh, put some more holes in it because why not it didn't end up working out um, but yeah I don't know Hey everyone, this is very grainy webcam spenny from the future. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you in the next one.